When taking a look at Revit versus Revit LT, a few other topics that you want to take a look at are documentation and collaboration. Uh, documentation, uh, for the most part, both applications are the same, except in, when it comes to scheduling. As you can see from this list provided by Autodesk, um, embedded schedules. Uh, when you're taking a look at any type of MEP scheduling, ducting, piping, uh, lost pressures, uh, panel schedules, or even graphic column schedules inside of the structural component of it are not available. Um, also, we'll take a look at view filters. Now, view filters allow you to turn on and off things instead of a manual process, give you the ability to right click and add view filters. So a view filter inside of here, uh, this is full Revit. I have the ability to right click on any type of view and apply a, uh, a template for a view filter to control what's, what's being viewed and what's not in that plan view or 3D viewer section. Collaboration is a, another component that I really want to uh, highlight here. Inside of Revit LT, we are only allowed to work on one file, one person at any given time. Now this does not prevent you from uh, starting a project, saving it, and then another person opening that file, but it's going to be very um, uh, individualized uh, of who has access to it. In a full Revit version, not an LT version, you have the ability to have multiple people working inside of the same file at the same time. We still have linking capabilities, being able to tie Revit files to Revit files. Um, there is limitations on your ability to customize the linked file, how it's being viewed, turning things on and off. Uh, importing capabilities, we can bring in DWG data, uh, JPEG data. We are limited, however, on point clouds inside of a Revit LT environment. All these things should be considered when you're taking a look at LT versus Revit. Same thing with export capabilities. Uh, quite a few capabilities of exporting, although being able to get the 3D geometry out to a generic file format uh, to be able to be read by multiple other programs, you are limited. However, native DWG or Autodesk type files, we have that capabilities. And then the last thing that I want to point out here is uh, application uh, for programming. Being able to do third-party applications, write custom programming, or if you do some research in Autodesk and um, self-based user-based programming, uh, Dynamo. Dynamo is not available for a Revit LT solution. <laughs> Hopefully you found all of these videos helpful uh, in trying to uh, make a determination if Revit LT is a right fit for you or if Revit is, is the ideal fit. As always, if you have any questions at any time, please contact your account manager and we can set up a call to dive into your individualized questions on this topic at a later date.